Four people have been arrested after two huge, unplanned Christmas parties involving more than 8,000 people, Santa hats and a lot of alcohol in Melbourne and Sydney. The mayor of Sydney's Randwick City Council condemned some of the behaviour as un-Australian after bottles were thrown at police as they broke up a large gathering at Little Bay. 5,000 people gathered at Melbourne's St Kilda Beach on Monday afternoon and continued drinking past the local council's 8pm alcohol ban, trashing the foreshore and resulting in two people being arrested for public drunkenness and assault. A 27-year-old man was hit by a tram in the aftermath, a 27-year-old woman was taken to hospital with alcohol poisoning and several others were injured by stepping on broken glass, police said. Victoria Police Inspector Jason Kelly said the unplanned event had escalated and let an appalling, really unacceptable level of rubbish behind for workers from Port Phillip Council to clean up. What really disappoints Victoria Police is the level of intoxication that occurred here tonight as evidenced by the level of rubbish left behind. Kelly said in a beachside interview on Christmas night. Nicole Garmston at Garmo Herald Sun clean up after Xmas Day revelers leave their rubbish on the foreshore st killed a bin it doth the right thing at the Herald Sun pick. Twitter comes of back 26 tt December 25, 2017 Paul Dowsley at Paul Dowsley 7 Welcome to the St Kilda tip, formerly known as the St Kilda foreshore, after 5,000 trashed it last night. Pick.twitter.com per TV5 T80 December 25, 2017 Kelly said while the beach was open to everyone, the level of intoxication was disappointing. Overall, considering the number of people here and that we have dispersed them, it was a significant response from Victoria Police to ensure the local safety of the community here, he said. The council instituted a 10-day drinking ban on the beach from Boxing Day. In the Sydney suburb of Little Bay, revellers complained of being pushed and pepper sprayed by police who arrived to break up a gathering of about 3,000 backpackers. As the crowd was moved on, two women, one a UK national and the other from Ireland, were arrested after allegedly hitting police officers with bottles. They have since been charged with assaulting police. My officers were on the receiving end of some alcohol-fueled violence and it was dealt with swiftly in order to bring the matter under control, Superintendent Karen McCarthy told reporters in Randwick on Tuesday. The people at the party were intoxicated, they were obviously in a festive mood and the majority of people were compliant with police actions, however, there was a small, isolated incident. Footage of the aftermath of the party showed officers attempting to disperse the gathering. Videos from the scene posted online showed dozens of people in Santa hats drinking, singing and dancing to loud music. One man, wearing a panda head and carrying a box of wine bladder, or goon bag, holds up his middle finger as police officers approach the booing crowd. Jamie McKinnell at Jamie 86 all mate in the panda head, flinging around his goon bag, who flips the bird to the cops as they approach the little bay beach party gets a special mention in my yarn. Pick.twitter.com for or December 25, 2017 One video showed at least four women being pushed to the ground, including two who landed on the road, as officers doused others with pepper spray. Stephen Minshaw, who was injured, said police were hitting people with batons as they tried to leave. I don't get why the police needed to use force, he told the Seven Network. We're backpackers, we're not going to fight back against them. Seven News Sydney at Seven News Sydney Little Bay were backpackers. So, I don't get why police need to use force to be, like, hit us Stephen Minshaw speaking to at Channel 7. Three people have been arrested after an out-of-control beach party spilled onto the streets. Little Bay 7 News Pick.twitter.com 98VVT809 F6 December 25, 2017 He denied the party had got out of hand. Other social media users responded to the footage by labeling the police response unnecessarily violent, ridiculous, and going way too far. But McCarthy insisted the incident was handled appropriately. Police deployed appropriate tactics in order to deal with the alcohol-fueled violence and bring the matter safely under control, she said. The people were in contravention of the alcohol-free zone and we simply took swift action to move the people from the area and get them onto safe transport home. Randwick Council at Randwick Council Quick action from at New Police helped shut down a drunken beach party of 3,000 backpackers yesterday at Little Bay Beach. A big thank you to local residents and council workers who cleared 40 bags of rubbish INCL broken bottles in just a few hours. 
info https twitter.com thucks vu 04 December 26, 2017 Randwick Mayor Lindsay Shorey praised the police response to the drunken beach party. Police response shut down the party very quickly and helped prevent any serious accidents or major injuries amongst the highly intoxicated revelers, Shorey said in a statement on Tuesday. I condemn the behavior of those backpackers who attacked and assaulted police by throwing bottles. This is un-Australian. Last week Eastern Beaches Police posted a warning on Facebook about alcohol-free zones at all local beaches. Randwick City Council had introduced tighter alcohol restrictions for Christmas, police said, and anyone who was caught risked a maximum fine of $2,200.